for lending management and distribution. Uh, moreover, there is an opportunity of maritime logistics business in Bangladesh. Uh, I will show you. Uh, and uh, this research found some innovations for fuel handling and inland transportation, uh, as well as for a paper literature review. The most important factor is the critical success factors that identify this research. And uh, I also took the qualitative research survey, uh, and there are some findings, and finally, uh, concluding remarks uh, with some future directions for Bangladesh for doing port transport business. Uh, within the region in South Asia. So the introduction is the why we should do the efficient fuel handling. What is generally doing the cargo and container handling? But we discovered that we need the efficient fuel handling in Bangladesh because of there are two requirements. What is the growing uh, energy requirements of industry and the people? We have 160 million people in Bangladesh and only 144,000 square kilometer. Can we imagine that we have a, any kind of facilities to serve them, to provide the electricity? At the very morning, we, in the general session, we heard now our people are getting only 50% people are getting the electricity in Bangladesh. So it's very difficult for us to manage our energy. So, and another is that this paper uh, aims to explore the roles of port authorities because the fuel handling factor that will be done by the port authorities. So the research methodology is, uh, I just follow the Newman's desire. Uh, that is uh, uh, how the topic will come. The topic come. Uh, this topic came from my mind when I was studying in the master's in port and shipping management. That I will go to the synchronize my study to the fuel handling and others. Uh, so I got this one. The key component of the study is to identify the barriers or critical success factors that for uh, will help to uh, the handle the fuels efficiently at the port area and towards <coughs> sites or outer limits of the port. So this is also practical matter um, to that when I put the qualitative uh, uh, research interviews, uh, I have put at the course instead of the direct name. Actually, this presentation is the totally related to the academic presentation instead of the practical or any other method. Uh, so also this research uh, face extensive limitation because in Bangladesh, only one organization that is government organization named Bangladesh Petroleum Corporation, they are importing the fuel. So this is the monopoly business by the government. Recently, government offered or introduced or opened the opportunity to the private owners to import the fuel oils. But there is no data yet I got it during this research. So this uh, barriers was during this research. I am skipping this one. Uh, I will come this one. Ah, <coughs> so there are three ports in Bangladesh. The Chitorong port, the principal port, this one. After the Mongla port, second one, and newly established the fire port. You know, uh, Chinan port is the rank of container family in the 74th of the world. And uh, within the 100 port, uh, all over the world, which is efficient for handling the containers. But what about the fuel? Because my subject is the fuel and lake. There is no data of efficiency or anything. So I have to search out the two things, literature review or the content analysis, and another one is the qualitative research interviews. Uh, so, Moreover, uh, we have some uh, inland ports because there is, a, there is a very good connection of this is the river connection from the all the cheap ports, there is a river connection up to the end of the northern side of the country. And moreover, there is a rail road, everything but from the British period because in the British roads uh, in Bangladesh, they are all captured the railway network, this one, all over the country, there is a railway network. So it is the great opportunity for us to start the intermodal networks. Uh, currently, we are importing this crude uh, oil, refined oil, and PDLNG coal, and containers, POL, and others, and exporting naphtha to the foreign countries. Uh, this is the status of oil uh, handling uh, by the Chitong port only. That is, it's going up. Uh, this is the status of coal import. Uh, in 1990, uh, this is the 621 short thousand metric tons, and now it is 
1802. So it's going, it's a dramatically increased recently. Why? So I have found this one. So if you look that we have the shortage of electricity, I told earlier. So government has a plan. This is the 2020 plan. We have to go to the 20,000 megawatt electricity. So here is the requirement of coal is only 5%. It will go 20%, it will go 50%. So dependency on the na natural gas will be decreased 52% to 25%. So there will be pressure of imported coal. Uh, so here is the medium logistic business opportunity. Due to geographical advantages, we are getting the opportunity for doing business with the neighbors. Like if you look this, this is the Bangladesh position three force. We have the opportunity to work with Myanmar, West Bengal of India, Southern Sister of India. These are basically landlocked. They have the force, but they are basically landlocked and Nepal Bhutan, both are uh, landlocked countries of the world and the southwest part of China. So it is the great opportunity that offered by the China government through one way, one road. So during this research, I found some innovation that may apply to our plan, our C course. Uh, so the research found four innovations, multiple pipelines, full containerizations, tent container, and silver model. That is now using also the silver model. I'm not get going to literature review, sorry for skipping this work. So to find out the critical success factor in port management for annual fuel, uh, I got the qualitative research and that I got the, this is the 100%, we have a very good possession of the port infrastructure. So the research found that the port infrastructures are critical factors for us. Moreover, there are port productivity, privatization, but remember that in the total world port world, there are two ports of the world, one is Singapore, another is Chilon. They are government operated port, but they are good and rent. So this is the opposite of port privatization. However, this research is becoming to port privatization as a as a less possible. So the findings of the, the key features of Bangladesh ports in is the nature. We <coughs> have the geographical advantages in the Bay of Bengal. If you compare with the uh, Myanmar city of port or uh, India's port of the port, the, our ports, Chitagong or Nongla, they have the geographical advantages in the total South Asian uh, in the Bay of Bengal. And the competitive advantage of our ports are, uh, the main things are that there is a network of rail, road and river. You know, river or inlet water supplies are the very cheap in transporting the cargo and container. So this is the competitive advantages you know, within the South Asian countries. And Bangladesh is uh, very feasible for doing this intermodal network transport business. And uh, in the innovations, we got the uh, tank container uh, or coal condensation. So this study is connecting the intermodal freight transportation. That means from origin to the destination. Uh, and we already talked about the critical success factor and just in time. And this innovative idea in fuel handling and management, what we have to do, we need to infrastructure development and doing the separate um, terminal for handling the fuel like coal, LPG, LNG, and others. Uh, so there are some suggestions already described in the full paper. So I would like to make a uh, conclusion. Uh, that is that uh, in a given supply chain, we know that uh, port efficiency is very important. Why so important? Because in our country, our teacher, is my former teacher, he told me that country moves with us. That means if we move very rashly, country will move good. So looking forward to the performance of port, it totally depends on the country good. So we have two, two things. One is the ready-made garments. All of you know that we are the number uh, two in all of the world that so are looking for the ready-made garments from Bangladesh and, and, and the people, we have to think about the people, how they will get electricity, how they will cook, how they will take food. So we need to import LPG, LNG. So we need the port efficiency all over the situation control to give the opportunity for a good living standard to the people of the country. Moreover, how the country will develop, 
the industrial development is very important, but we haven't any kind of energy or power, so we need to import fuel from abroad. We have the capacity, we have the learning facilities, people can buy the gas, LP gas, petroleum gas, but we have to secure the efficiency of the port to import all of the garbage from here. So this research gives some uh, future directions. Um, there are some directions to the like public private partnership as people are uh, people um, are very getting to do uh, private business with the government so the joint venture public private partnerships are recommending this research and commercial import license to for PON. already there is a limited edition of going to the giving the license to the private operators but uh, this research is recommending to be the op just open to all for doing the business for supporting the uh, petroleum oil and lubricants and standing in the rail network uh, already has stated that uh, we have the rail network so now we need the dedicated rail track for uh, transferring the cargo from port to the destinations so that it needs to do again privatization for uh, infrastructure of the uh, private uh, track rail track uh, to create the major commission we have a kind of director to control the all over the seaports and other maritime affairs. So this research is recommending for a medical provision. And last but not least, that is the port of the rule. They have to reinvest in their money. In Chicago, they are earning lots and they are growing the lots of money in their bank, but they have to remain investing. So the investigation of this paper is to reinvest this money to other sport and others in the rural network infrastructure development and others. <coughs> oh, this is uh, recommending from uh, my research set and thank you very much for your good attention to me.